Hello, my third graders. Welcome to our read aloud today. So today we're going to read a new chapter in Charlotte's Web. If you remember, we just finished the chapter on a miracle where Charlotte had put the word some pig in the web and Mr. Um, Zuckerman shared with the minister and then the news spread very quickly through the town and everybody had come to see Wilbur, who was now getting four meals a day, but the farm was kind of falling apart because nothing else was getting done. But it ended with Fern kind of missing her quietness in the barn. So we'll see what happens. Today's chapter is called A Meeting. Let's see what happens. One evening, a few days after the writing had appeared in Charlotte's Web, the spider called a meeting of all the animals in the barn cellar. I shall begin by calling the roll. Wilbur, here, said the pig. Gander, here, 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 said the gander. You sound like three ganders, muttered Charlotte. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat everything? It's my idio, idio, idiosyncrasy, replied the gander. Goose, said Charlotte. Here, 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 said the goose. Charlotte glared at her. Goslings, one through seven, said the goslings. Oh, this is getting to be quite a meeting, said Charlotte. Anybody would think we had three ganders, three geese, and 21 goslings. Sheep, answered the sheep all together. Lambs, answered the lambs all together. Templeton, no answer. Templeton, well, we are all here except the rat, said Charlotte. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you must have noticed what's been going on around here the last few days. The message I wrote in my web praising Wil Wilbur has been received. The Zuckermans have fallen for it and so has everybody else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig and therefore he won't want to kill him and eat him. I dare say my trick will work and Wilbur's life will be saved. Hooray, cried everybody. Thank you, thank you very much, said Charlotte. Now, I called this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting sick of reading the words, some pig. If anybody can think of another message or remark, I'll be glad to weave it into the web. Any suggestions for a new slogan? How about Pig Supreme, asked one of the lambs. No good, said Charlotte. It sounds like a rich dessert. How about Terrific, 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 said the goose. Hmm, cut that down to one terrific and it will do very well. Nice job, said Charlotte. I think Terrific might impress Zuckerman. All right, here they are having their meeting. But Charlotte... Said Wilbur. I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a particle of difference, replied Char Charlotte. Not a particle. People believe almost anything they see in print. Does anybody here know how to spell terrific? I think, said the gander, it's T double E double R double R double E double F double I double C C C C. What kind of an acrobat do you think I am? said Charlotte in disgust. I would have to have St. Vitus's dance to weave a word like that into my web. Sorry, 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 said the gander. Then the old sheep spoke up. I agree that there should be something new written in the web if Wilbur's life is to be saved. And if Charlotte, Charlotte needs help in finding words, I think she can get it from our friend Templeton. The rat visits the dump regularly and has access to old magazines. He can tear out bits of advertisements and bring them up here to the barn cellar so that Charlotte has, can have something to copy. Good idea, said Charlotte, but I'm not sure Templeton will be willing to help. You know how he is, always looking out for himself, never thinking of the other people. Oh, I bet I can get him to help, said the old sheep. I will appeal, appeal to his baser instincts, instincts of which he has plenty. Here he comes now. Everybody keep quiet while I put the matter up to him. The rat entered the barn the way he always did, creeping along the wall close. What's up? He asked, seeing all the animals assembled. 
We're holding a director's meeting, replied the sheep. Well, break it up, said Templeton. Meetings bore me. And the rat began to climb a rope that hung against the wall. Look, said the old sheep. Next time you go to the dump, Templeton, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte needs new ideas so she can write messages in her web and save Wilbur's life. Eh, let him die, said the rat. I should worry. Oh, you'll worry all right when next winter comes, said the sheep. You'll worry all right on a zero morning next January when Wilbur is dead and nobody comes down here with a nice pail of warm slops to pour into the trough. Wilbur's leftover food is your chief source of supply, Templeton, and you know that. Wilbur's food is your food. Therefore, Wilbur's destiny and your destiny are closely linked. If Wilbur is killed and his trough stands empty day after day, you'll grow so thin we can look right through your stomach and see objects on the other side. Templeton's whiskers quiver. Maybe you're right, he said gruffly. I'm making a trip to the dump tomorrow afternoon. I'll bring back a magazine clipping if I can find one. Thanks, said Charlotte. The meeting is now adjourned. I have a busy evening ahead of me. I've got to tear my web apart and write terrific. Wilbur blushed. But I'm not terrific, Charlotte. I'm just about average for a pig. You're terrific as far as I'm concerned, said Charlotte sweetly. And that's what counts. You're my best friend, and I think you're sensational. Now stop arguing and go get some sleep. It's all that matters what our friends think. They're our friends for a reason. All right, next chapter is good progress. I will see you later for our read aloud. Have a great day and be kind.